Now let's solve this nice algebraic expression quickly. Let's find the value of x and y. So here we have 2 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of y equal to, we can simplify this as 64 multiplied by 10. And then we have 2 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of y equal to, given this, can be written as 2 to the power of 6. Then into bracket we can split this as 2 multiplied by 5. Then 2 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of y equal to 2 to the power of 6. Then this can be written as 2 to the power of 1. And this can also be split as 4 plus 1. I mean this 5. So then we have 2 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of y equal to, if we combine this together, we, are, we will have 2 to the power of 7. Then this can be split as 2 to the power of 2, this 4, then plus 1 into brackets. Now from here, we can multiply all through with what we have in the brackets the 2 to the power of 7. So we have 2 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of y equal to 2 to the power of 7 multiplied by 2 to the power of 2 then plus 2 to the power of 7 if we multiply this with 1. So now we have 2 to the power of x plus 2 to the power of y equal to this multiplied together the exponent will be added. So we now have 2 to the power of 9 plus 2 to the power of 7. Now we can conclude that 2 to the power of x equal to 2 to the power of 9. Then 2 to the power of y equals to 2 to the power of 7. Which implies that if we equate the exponent, we have x to be equal to 9. Then if we equate the exponent here, we have y to be equal to 7 as our value of x and y. So it implies that y x equals to 9, y equals to 7. So we can verify that 